Okay, hopefully this is recording again. Made a couple of changes and I wanted to verify because the first flight I did I was getting 80 to 90 frames per second. And prior to that I was getting about 50 to 55. November X-ray traffic Cessna, November 674 Tree Hotel, taking off runway 21 straight out departure. Okay, right now we're looking at 74, 75 frames per second. Traffic November 713, Charlie Lima, 24 miles west inbound ILS Yankee Runway Tree. And we're running with the Bing. Hero Juliet, November X-ray traffic November 713, Charlie Lima is on final runway tree to land. Oh, great. Final runway three. Let me get off the runway, please. Uh. Okay, yeah, so I'm looking at 71 frames per second right now. Render latency 22. CPU is at 40, 35%. GPU at 36. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this back. On. Center. Center, I said. Thank you. I don't know. It seems like it got more sensitive on me somehow. Alright, well, I don't know if the gonna show up on the recording yet and I really do like the look with the big latest okay let's uh let's add some trim here so we can release some pressure okay, continue to climb a little bit here let's bring the RPM down again Oh, I never set my barometric pressure. So yeah, so we're looking at 67 frames, 70 frames per second. More than I've ever obtained before, really. And I really do like the way the graphics are looking. Right now. So I will show all of my settings for you here. Let me go ahead and turn off. Toby, and let's go to settings. So under general options, I'm running full screen 2560, which is my native resolution for this monitor. I'm on super resolution with DLAA, frame generation on, sharpening at 110, V-Sync on. And V-Sync is one of those funny ones. Some people have luck with it on, some people have luck with it off. And it's also on in my NVIDIA control panel, which also should be on. Whether this is on or off, that one should really be on, in my opinion. And then the DirectX 12 Beta. And then if we go down the board, you can see we're at Ultra, 200, 200 Ultra. Oh, I actually meant to turn this off because I have it on in the control panel and I'd rather have the GPU doing the math there. Uh, clouds Ultra, Texture High, Water Waves High, Ultra, 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 Bloom On, and so forth. Then we go back here, yeah, let's see, because I just made a change now. Kilo Juliet, November X-ray traffic, November 7-1 tree, Charlie Lima, 2-0 miles west, inbound ILS Yankee runway tree. That looks pretty good. I'm not sure. I think I might like it better 
with the other sharpening but I'll have to fly it a little bit more and see but I'm still getting 71 frames here which I have no complaints about 73 frames per second on ultra settings I will take it and I am not running a standard aircraft here this is the WB sim enhanced version of the Cessna 172 it's what they call a near study model so it is enhanced quite a bit over the basic that you get but yeah I think I'm um, gonna stick with these settings for quite a while now I don't think it'll work uh, let's see let me shut this off again if I bring my NVIDIA control panel over here I don't think the recording will pick it up let's see so under my main settings I have DSR factors set just the top two turned on I have scaling at 60% and then another important one is my filtering quality I have set at high quality and I find that to be important then under the program settings are a little bit different once they load so like I said I have the filtering on here my anisotropic filtering here and then down here we have low latency mode is off because it's on in the game and they may not show up so I'll get a screenshot if they don't uh, to check my recording um, negative LOD bias on clamp and then texture filter quality is global setting high quality trilinear on oh, see that should be off probably uh, threaded optimization off triple buffering off and vertical sync on now I have flown over this school and this baseball field several times because like I said this is my home airport now I didn't say it here but in other videos and it just looks so fake in the uh, original thing maps compared to what that looks like now so this is really nice all right and again I'm not gonna s say anything about 70 frames per second all right thanks for watching we'll see you in the skies